Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Grio from Nintendo Planet and welcome back to my channel. I did pick up Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on Friday. It was quite an adventure. I did have to go to a couple different stores um, in my city which did not have it. So I had to drive to the next closest city just to be able to pick up the copy. I'm just going to go on a limb and say that where I live there's a lot of competition, a lot of gamers. But either way, I did end up picking the game. And I did start it, I did play the first 15-20 minutes of the game and it, it is pretty good. Uh, but I decided that I'll just make some videos here for you guys um, of the actual gameplay. So I'm going to go ahead and delete my progress and start a new game. Or if it's possible to start a second game, a second file. And just one file will be for my personal progress and the second one will be for the YouTube channel progress. So let's go ahead and fire up the game real quick. Uh, what are the actual options? And then again, I'm always playing this game late. Um, I just played it for the first time last night. That's why I've only played like 15 minutes or so, or maybe 20, uh, because I did play it late. I do have a lot of other responsibilities during the day, and by the time I get to it at night, I'm tired and that type of stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and um, see. I got an option to continue a new game. Let's just do a new game. Yeah, let's override it. I'm out. I wasn't far anyways, like I said. I was about 15 to 20 minutes into the game. So no big deal. Let's go ahead and try this out real quick. This strange gloom keeps getting thicker. We've been descending for a while now. These tunnels are deeper than I thought. What could be down here? Let's just take a look at the hearts. Uh, so this is beneath the Hyrule Castle. Take a look at the hearts. It's maxed out. Lots of hearts. Hmm. I can imagine this was all deep beneath the Hyrule Castle. When I was a child, I asked my father if there was anything below the castle. He told me there was, though so seeing it for ourselves, we can discuss the matter was for me. No one in her family knew anything. People have been falling ill after coming into contact with the gloom drifting through these caverns. Though here it seems almost misty and not concentrated enough to harm us. We'll keep going with it coming up from beneath Hyrule Castle. We do not know what waits below, so we need to be ready for anything. But I know I'll be okay with you, Link. Of course. Let's go solve this mystery. Thank you. 
wide and swing the sword. Shorter Sona in origin. I see these signs like these in my studies. Sona are said to have lived long ago on the earliest legend. They possessed godlike powers and had a prosperous civilization. Uh, mm -hmm. Many history books tell us about the Zona, but none gives the full picture. Much is still known about her. The report studies the Zona. <gasps> Those statues. This one to Zona and look like? It seems so different in us. Such large years. How did the ruins from the civilization in the sky appear beneath it? Question. Looks like the path ahead goes even deeper. Let's continue, Link. Hurt. Are you Link? <gasps> Look at these murals. <gasps> the written histories of the royal family include stories of a great war fought long ago. It was a conflict between allied tribes and someone only ever referred to as the Demon King. Is it possible? Do these murals depict the same legend? <sighs> this is similar to the statues we saw earlier. A Zonai. And these figures look like Hylians. This depiction certainly suggests that the Zonai descended from the heavens. Oh. It is said that my ancestors, the first of Hyrule's royal family, were born from a union with gods who had descended from the heavens. These murals tell a similar story, and if they are accurate, then the gods mentioned were the Zonai. They must have forged a relationship with the Hylians of that time, working together to establish... the Kingdom of Hyrule. This figure, he seems to be stealing something of incredible power from the young kingdom. I love your voice. This all aligns with what I've read during my studies. Oh. And then this, it shows the Demon King. And a fierce battle against him. <clears throat> if the creature depicted here really does represent the Demon King, then... Incredible. This mural must be the great war recorded in the royal histories. This is the imprisoning war and the events that led up to it. Link, this is a huge discovery. <laughs> All right, then, now to use this invention of Pura's. I'm glad I didn't leave it behind. It's so easy to record. 
You point it and click. Oh. Oh, it looks like the rest of the murals are obscured. <laughs> Just what is this place? Maybe we'll find more answers farther ahead. Link, let's keep moving deeper. have a confession at the end um, of the video so if you guys stick to it in the video you guys will hear that
Link, finally you wake. I've heard a great deal about you from Zelda. Your wounds were severe. I am relieved to see you escape death. Your arm, however, was beyond saving. I had to replace it, lest the injury endanger you further. We can actually view our inventory by hitting the plus button. Each weapon. X, Y. Okay. Which I kind of know I've been doing it already, right? Good way is B. X is to jump. But we want to take a look at the inventory. This is the plus sign. So we have the DK Master Sword. And if you get the. Dash with that. Okay, got some light wear. Yeah, like we said, we can open the inventory with some glass. Now we can see the light wear. See, now we can hit those shoulder buttons like um, the L and R. So one is for weapons. Classic light wear. They've, they're well worn and showing their age, but they've still got a few good years left in them. It can be a bit cumbersome to have to tie the straps. Now, I don't know if this does anything besides cosmetics, so I'm not sure. Water rises came from.
pierced. Oh, wow. We are at the top. We made it. We made it. Wow, look at that world. Look at that. So that was that was the sky island I was looking at. I thought I was looking at a cave or something, like a cavern, like underneath the castle. Unless the castle's on the sky. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, you guys are a lot smarter than me when it comes to Zelda. Strange. I thought we weren't. Yeah. Just let me know. Here's the title screen The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Let's go! It'd be cool if we can jump from the lily pads to the lily pads, but they can't jump down far. And now we made it to the Great Sky Island. So I'm actually gonna go ahead and stop the video here, and then we're gonna go ahead and explore and try to get the shrines and that type of stuff. Um, so I did say I did have a confession for you guys, and this is that part of the video now. So my confession is, I had Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for the Switch. I actually got the Nintendo Switch on day one. Lined up outside GameStop. It's still one of the most terrible, memorable moments to me because I did it with my brother and my best friend. And my brother and my best friend, both of them are my best friends. So for me to be with them, that was a special moment, you know, um, we all went, we all got our Nintendo Switches, and of course, we all got The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild as our actual first game. Um, I think I did pick up a second game, I think as well, which was going to Switch, that's more of a casual game. But anyways, the whole point is that I picked up Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and I only played it for just a little bit, maybe like 30 minutes, and never ever ever played it again even though it's been critically acclaimed and rated so high and possibly the best game of the generation and all these positive and amazing things about it and they're becoming the best Zelda game of all time and selling the most units of any Zelda game breaking records yet yeah, I never played it again after those 30 minutes um, for me it was kind of hard but a lot of that is because I'm new to Zelda, never really played Zelda. I did have Zelda uh, for the Nintendo 64 over Arena of Time. I remember being inside the deck of tree and spider webs and cobwebs and all like that, like fighting some type of enemy down there. But at that time, you know, I just found it too difficult. I never really finished it, to be honest. I only played it for a bit, but my cousins were this with me and they were older than me. And me and they knew a lot more about Zelda so I would kind of just watch them play but that was just here and there it wasn't all the time so I don't know too much about Zelda so this is my confession to you guys I'm pretty much a Zelda noob I don't know much I don't know anything really about the story of course I know who Link is and Zelda is and Ganondorf is just because they're big names and they're on Smash Brothers <laughs> any character on Smash Brothers I know you know because I play Smash Brothers but that's my confession to you guys. So I want to break the mold. Um, I want to play this game, not just for you guys. I want to do it primarily, number one, for, for me, for myself. I want to experience the greatness of this game. And um, I know at times I'm going to have to force myself to play it, but I want to because um, it's rated so damn high, you know? So it'd be nice to also get into the actual franchise. And if I do, if we get into it, then I want to go back and play the other games. I want to go play The Wind Waker, Twilight Princess, 
um, Skyward Sword, which I have for the Switch as well. And here's the thing, I pick up a lot of Switch games. I just don't play all of them. I do play a lot of the more casual games, like multiplayer games, like for example, I love Splatoon, I love Mark or I love Mark Strikers, that type of stuff. But that's my confession to you guys. But I will definitely make sure I play this game more often. I can't promise um, daily videos or anything like that. I'm gonna try, like, if I can make a daily video maybe once every two or three days or so of this Zelda game. I might do have work full time. I might do some schooling as well. And I do have my own family as well. Um, so I do have to provide for them as well and spend a lot of time with them as well and things like that. So my rate of videos might not be as fast, but I'm gonna try. I'm really, really gonna try. Uh, but that's my confession. Thanks guys for watching the video. If you guys liked it, uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Um, if you guys don't like it, put in dislike it in. Tell me I suck in the comments. That's totally fine as well. Or just leave me any constructive criticism of, you know, how I can be better. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great night.